hi guys welcome back to my channel ba, 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 ba. my name is not tula Kaza. on this channel i talk about the history of black excellence and how black people have contributed to the society as we know it on today's episode i'll be talking about philip emigwali who invented a supercomputer if you're interested in what i have to say please stay tuned on today's video, I'll be talking about Dr. Philip M. Iguali, who invented the first supercomputer in 1989. Philip M. Iguali is one of Africa's greatest scientists, is, one, is a Nigerian mathematician, engineer, computer scientist, who is best known for using the connection machine and 65,536 microprocessors to achieve 3.1 billion calculations per second the fastest computational record at that time. He received the Gordon Bell Prize in 1989 for prize performance in high-performance computing applications in an oil reservoir modeling calculation using a novel mathematic mathematical formulation and implementation. So more about Philip's background. Um, he was born on the 23rd of August 1954 in Urkur, Nigeria, to parents James and Agatha Emigwali, and he's the oldest of their nine children. Philip Emigwali's father tutored him in mathematics from an early age, which cultivated his interest in the subject. Emigwali's father reduced his household chores when he was only nine years old, giving him more time to do extra math work such as doing drills of solving 100 math problems in his head. The daily drills transformed Emigweli from an average student to a math whiz. Emigweli was considered a human computing machine or a calculating prodigy in his preteens. He received a perfect score on the math section of a high school of a high school entrance exam when he was only ten years old. He was disqualified after officials accused him of fraud. In 1966, he enrolled in a British run. Catholic elementary school in eastern Nigeria where he excelled in a variety of subjects. However, his time there was cut short when the country's civil war forced him and his family to relocate to a refugee camp a little more than a year later in 1967. At the age of 13, he served as a cook at, in the Bavarian army just prior to the war's end in 1970, which he claimed, and I quote, Help me survive the war. Emigueli resumed his education when he enrolled in the Christ the King College in Onicha, Nigeria, for high school. He enrolled, he enrolled in the school for one year before dropping out due to financial difficulties. Emigueli instead self-studied and passed a high school equivalence test administered by the University of London in 1973. He received a scholarship to study at Oregon State University in 1974 and he graduated with a Bachelor of Science in Mathematics in 1977. When he first began working with computers in 1974, he stated, and I quote, I hated them more than anyone in the world and I knew I would never become a computer scientist. Emigweli was comfortable doing complicated calculations in his head. Computers irritated him and he felt he didn't need them. He resolved to become a mathematician, physicist or anything else just to avoid using computers. As his studies progressed, he was required to solve millions, billions and trillions of calculations. He realized the value of computers and developed an interest in them, particularly supercomputers. In 1981, he received his master's degree in environmental engineering from Howard University, Washington, D.C. In 1986, he, received an, he also received another master's degree in ocean coastal and marine engineering from George Washington University. Again in 1986, he received another master's degree in mathematics from the University of Maryland. During this time, he worked as a civil engineer for the Wyoming Bureau of Land Reclamation. 
Emigualio has granted access to the connection machine at the Los Almas National Laboratory in, the, in, New, in New Mexico in 1987 while working in his PhD at the University of Michigan. Over the next few years, he accessed the machine remotely from Ann Arbor, Michigan and worked on the program to accurately estimate the amount of oil in a simulated reservoir. In 1989, he ran a program and with the help of 65,536 microprocessors, the machine was able to perform 1.3 billion calculations per second and correctly predict the amount of oil in their simulated reservoir. Imigoli actually set the world's fastest, fastest computational record on the connection machine a year before it was published. He broke his own record several times before announcing, the, before announcing his results. And I quote, so he says, and I quote, each time I broke my record, I would start screaming like a madman. People would rush to my computer lab and ask, what went wrong? He recalled when he was interviewed. He set the record in 1989 by using 65,536 uh, separate computers, uh, separate computer processors to perform 3.1 to perform 3.1 billion calculations per second. His achievement paved the way for other scientists to comprehend to comprehend the full capabilities of supercomputers as well as the benefits and the practicality of connecting multiple computers to communicate. According to CNN, he is known as the father of the internet. For this, according to the White House transcript, Bill, uh, President Bill Clinton praised Imigwali as one of the great minds of the information age, reiterating Imigwali's nickname as the Bill Gates of Africa. Using software developed by Imigwali, the connection machine solved a 350-year-old packing problem that was thought to be one of the world's most difficult unsolved mathematical puzzles. The connection machine was also generated equations explaining how spam traveled, contaminated groundwater flows, the subter subterranean movement that causes volcanic er eruptions, and how to extract uh, petroleum in a, re in a relatively safe and larger quantities. Imogueli was awarded the Golden Bell Prize in 1989 for an application of the CM2 massively parallel computer. The application used computational fluids dynamic, dynamics to model oil reservoirs. He was awarded the he was awarded in the prize performance category with a performance figure of around 450, 400 mil flops. The winner of the performance category was also the winner of the prize performance category, but he was, he was unable to receive both prizes. The CM2 was, able, was used for seismic data processing by mobile research and thinking machines, which achieved a higher ratio of 500 flops. Each entry received one award from the judges. The crux, uh, the crux of the discovery that Imagwelli had programmed each microprocessor to talk to six neighboring microprocessors at the same time. The success of the, rec uh, the record-breaking experiment meant there was now a practical and inexpensive way to use machines like this to speak to each other all over the world. Within a few years, the oil industry had seized upon, the, upon this idea. Then the Hyperball International Network creating a virtual world wide web of ultra fast digital communication. He was later hailed as one of the fathers of the internet. Since then, he has won more than 100 prizes for his work and, and Apple Computer has used his microprocessor technology in their Power Mac, 4G4, Power Mac G4 model. Today he lives in Washington with his wife and son. The internet as we know it, and I quote, the internet as, as, the internet as we know it today did not cross my mind, Imigwadi told Time magazine. I was, I, was, I was hypothesizing a planetary seized com supercomputer 
and broadly speaking my focus was more, was on how the present creates the future and how our image of the future inspires the present Encra- encouraged by his success and newly found status Imigwali moved forward with further research and provided new theories and concepts and concepts for computer design many of these were based on the idea that computers were simply an extension of the function of nature and thus they should be designed based on nature one of his theories is aimed at exploring long term effects of greenhouse gases and global warming Imigwali offered a new design for a computer based on honeycomb based on the theory of tessellated models Imigwali broke the earth's atmos the earth's atmosphere into sections that resembled honeycombs created by bees he reasoned that bees are able to use the most efficient methods to develop their honeycomb and and that following principle of honeycomb design in a computer will allow it to work in an optimal fashion he believes that his hyperbole computer will allow for weather for weather forecast forecasting forecasting far into the future and for simulated globe global warming trends in order to address the problem so his accolades um in 1989 he received the bell the golden bell prize in IEEE that is in engineering he was named the 35th greatest african and greatest african scientist of all time by uh, by new african by new african magazine distinguished scientist award by the national society of black engineers in 1991 computer scientist of the year by national technical associations in 1993 international man of the year minority technology council in 1994 certification of a uh, certificate of appreciation award uh, uh, award from the Sci- from the science museum in 1994 in 1994 he was uh, awarded the nigerian achiever award he was named one of the mo- of the 50 most important blacks in research in research science in 2004 time magazine in 2007 described him as an unsung hero for the contribution to the creation to the creation of the internet so how supercomputers has impacted our lives in this day and age so supercomputers have played an important role in the field of computational science they have been used for scientific and engineering applications that must handle massive databases and do great amounts of computation supercomputers are used for data intensive computation computation heavy scientific and engineering purposes such as quantum mechanics weather forecasting oil and gas exploration molecular modeling physical simulation aerodynamics nuclear fusion nuclear fusion research and crypto analysis today they are they are also routinely employed by the aerospace pet, uh, aerospace petroleum and automotive industries so the most powerful um supercomputer in the world is the frontier which is in the us it is the it was like the world's first ex- exascale supercomputer the rec- uh, the record break uh, the record breaking machine can process more than quantil quantillion i don't even know what quantillion is it like that is a huge number quantillion calculations per second the us frontier system is now the fastest supercomputer in the world how supercomputer have uh, so how they have played a role in our daily lives supercomputers have played a key role 
in the efforts of in the efforts to accelerate research with the potential to better understand how the heart responds to various treatments and the development of vaccines for avian and swine flu and possibly cure the cure for COVID-19. So this is about it guys. Um thank you for watching. I don't know what to say now. But yeah, so Philip Emigrady's work has contributed greatly to the society, um, mainly because um, cures can be used, can be developed using his uh, his method, and yeah. So if you are watching and you want to know more about a certain topic, just drop me a comment. I'll do some research and I'll come back and talk about it. So thank you for watching again. Um, I don't know when I'm uploading. I think on Tuesday. I'll be uploading this video on Tuesday. And so we meet again on Thursday. I'll probably be dropping another video. I'm trying to do two videos a week now. Um, this is just something I enjoy. Which is like therapeutic for me. And I feel like we are not... Um, especially i'm from south africa and i feel like these things i was not taught at school and i would have loved to know about these more in great detail um so yeah thank you again so we'll meet again on thursday mm -hmm.